Former Prime Minister Hubert Ingram announced today that he will participate in next week's gaming referendum, this after initially declaring that he would not, quote, waste his time voting. His critics are responding to his latest stance and are dismissing his position as political rancor and sour grapes. Andrew Knowles joins us now. Andrew, can you tell us a little bit more about the back and forth? Well, Kanzino, it comes as a surprise today as the former Free National Movement leader is now urging all Bahamians to vote no come Monday. Hubert Ingram says he's changed his mind about participating in the upcoming poll after watching referendum campaigning. And what's even more is he's concerned about the government's role in all of this. In all of this. But Progressive Liberal Party Chairman Bradley Roberts today dismissed Mr. Ingram's statements, claiming that he has zero credibility. I will not comment on the mockery of the supposed neutrality which the present administration has sought to cloak without a naked support for and promotion of a yes vote. I do say, however, it is impossible for me to see at least three self-declared violators of gaming laws parade through the main street of our city, demonstrate in front of our parliament, demanding that the people endorse their illegal behavior and make them legal, legal and fear no consequence for their actions from the law enforcement sector of our country. This cannot be the same man who invited the web shop owners to make their financial statements available to the then FNM government in an effort to formulate an equitable taxation regime for that industry that he fully intended to legalize and regulate. Mr. Ingram says he refused to remain silent while perpetrators of illegal enterprises seek to further erode our democracy, disrespect our laws, and denigrate those who promote decency. To excuse illegal behavior because it is supposedly too expensive to counter is unconscionable. To excuse illegal behavior because it creates employment is inexcusable. And to excuse illegal behavior because some believe it will bring additional revenue to the public treasury is similarly inexcusable. But Mr. Roberts blasted the former FNM leader for now trying to vilify and demonize the web shop owners. He revealed details of a cabinet document from the Ingram administration, which he claims shows Mr. Ingram's hypocrisy. He sits on the sidelines with no responsibility for, governments, for governance and makes utterly outrageous and ridiculous statements about the industry when his government was responsible for issuing the lion's share of web shop licenses and did not see its way to shut these operations for their so-called illegal behavior. This is absolutely incredible. Now, the FNM leader, Dr. Hubert Minnis, welcomed the former Prime Minister's announcement, and he re reiterates that his party's position is to vote no on both questions. However, Mr. Roberts is urging Bahamians to ignore Mr. Ingram and the FNM and simply vote their conscience on referendum day. 